Hi, it's Squeezy. And in today's video, I just wanted to help a few people. Now, at some point in our lives, we all end up with an ex because we somehow fucked up and we caught feelings for the wrong person. You know, you caught feelings for some slag or some fuckboy and then you, at some point you realise that, wow, I fucked up and then you leave them. But sometimes when you leave your ex, sometimes you get desperate at night and you just need to shag something. So you ring it up. I'm talking about your ex, you ring it up. And then when you ring it up, it picks up that it's your ex. Then you, before you know where you've got back with it and you're shagging it and there's nothing you can do. But I just want to help a few people on how you can actually um, stop being with your ex. Now there's a few steps with this. Obviously I've conquered my ex. I've, I don't text that bitch back. It took a few steps to actually do it. The first lie, do not tell yourself that if you delete or block your ex on social networks it's gonna work that is the biggest lie ever you go somewhere at some party you see her she pull her tits out and you say wow i missed him i missed him and you start touching her tits and before you know it, you're back together you have band blocked her and now you're together it's more embarrassing okay so don't bother blocking your ex okay it never works 90 percent of people that block their exes end up getting back with them so don't do that in fact, don't do anything. That's the best thing you can do. Whenever you break up with someone, cry about it, starve yourself, wank a lot. You know, that's how I went through it. Obviously, wanking, crying, wanking, crying. Check yourself if you still have a heart because your heart's just been broken, man. So make sure you check yourself, okay? But after that, move on with your life. Now, how do you move on with your life? Because obviously, this person you've loved with a massive ass, with massive tits now is not with you anymore how do you move on with your life first thing you have to do you need to find someone to fuck that's as simple as i have to put it the biggest lie is when people tell themselves oh um i've just come out of a relationship i don't i don't like girls no more i'm done with girls it's either you're turning gay or you just getting there okay the first thing you have to do if a girl leaves you find someone else to replace her not in a relationship way i don't find someone that's as good as her Okay, because you're gonna waste your time. Find anyone that's shit, fuck them, and then move on with your life. That helps a lot of people move on. So that will stop you from messaging or going back with your ex. Because in most cases, the reason you want to get back with your ex is because the sex was good. I mean, in my case, that's what's true. There's no person that's gonna tell me that the reason you've waited to get back with your ex, it had nothing to do with the sex. It's always the sex. I only go in a relationship because I knew there was guaranteed sex all the time, you know. If I went out and didn't pull, I knew I was going to go back and shag someone who's my girlfriend, okay. That's the only reason. Now, a lot of people say that they get in relationships because they want someone to keep him company, blah, blah. Fam, it's all about the sex. So, find someone else you can put your dick in or someone that's going to put a dick in you and move on with your life. Yeah. Another way you can stop going back with your ex is to not socialize with people that know your ex, okay? Do not socialize with those people, man. Do not have that friend that comes on to you and tells you, oh, so I seen your ex today. If someone tells you that, just shut the fuck up. Don't say anything, because it's gonna turn into a conversation. Your friend is gonna try to bring it up, and then before you know it, you're like, wow, me and my ex were destined to be together. Imagine, my friend just seen him or her in town. And then before you know it, you're back in that delusional thing, of getting back with your ex now you start thinking you guys are destined to be together and then before you know you get back with them you remember you realize that he has a small dick and then you leave again and then you get back or she has small nipples and you don't like her nipples because they stink or whatever reason you guys broke up you realize that it's still there it's not gonna die so you move on and then you got back i know people that keep getting back with their exes because of their friends because their friends keep bringing it up you know sometimes you get horny you tell your friend oh let's go out and then your friend starts telling you oh why don't you just get back with your ex i'm sure she wants you back don't do that okay cut that friend off okay if he's black, just report him to the police that he's a drug dealer. There's a chance they're going to arrest him anyway. Okay, then <laughs> get rid of him, okay? But yeah, those are some of the things you can do. Avoid people that constantly remind you of your ex. Don't get angry when someone brings your ex up because what's going to happen is that you're going to get angry and then you're going to feel guilty about it later and then you're like, oh. And then before you know it, you're feeling too guilty to the point that you're inboxing your ex again because your brain is telling you that what you did was bad and you should get back with him, okay? So don't talk to your ex. You don't befriend your ex, okay? How do people do that? How can you be friends with your ex, bro? 
How can you be friends with someone you've been shagging three times a day? Fam, friendship does not involve, except if you're gonna be friends with benefits, but I don't see any, any of that being friends. If you leave someone, leave them, bro, leave them. Do not go back around places you know they're gonna be in. Do not delude yourself like, oh, I can control my emotions. You're gonna see your girl and you're gonna remember that time she told you she loved you and you are the best thing that's ever happened to her. You know, you're gonna miss her and it's gonna be romantic. And then you, before you know it, you're gonna have her titty in your mouth and you're gonna fall in love over again. So avoid seeing your ex, okay? If you see your ex, it probably just do what I do. Just hide, bro. You have to hide, okay? <laughs> avoid your ex, because what they, what goes in their minds like, I have to smile at him. If it's a guy, he's probably gonna do some weird stuff to show you that he's there. Then before you know, you're like, oh, I miss her. She actually used to have a nice ass. Oh my God. And then before you know, you're back with a stupid slag that broke your heart in a gangbang. She shagged all your black mates. Oh my God. But yeah, um, seriously. Do not delete your ex's number. Don't do that stupid stuff. Don't delete their number. Just pretend they don't exist. And the other thing is don't try to make your ex jealous. Don't try to make your ex jealous. Because when you try to make your ex jealous, what happens is that you both get caught in this game. And then when, if people are in a game, you eventually become friends. That's why boxers, at the end of the fight, even after smacking the shit out of each other and punching everyone, they smile at each other and smile because they're both in the game. Okay, so if you want to make your ex jealous and they're trying to make you jealous, you start developing this friendship, but it's a bit enemy relationship, enemy and friend friendship. And then before you know it, you actually, this little game you're playing of making each other jealous is bringing you even more closer. Before you know it, you're back with them and like, fuck, how did this happen? Do you ever get back with your ex and like, wow, what happened? You know what I mean? Really, it was just you trying to make them jealous and then they try to make you jealous and then the person you were trying to make them jealous with left you and then her person left her as well and then now you're talking about it to each other and then like oh maybe we're destined to be together we're not allowed to be with someone else that's a lie no one's destined to be with anyone for too long okay everything's temporary bro we are here temporarily bro we're gonna die and move on okay don't get yourself to think that oh that's my one and only true love. That shit exists in films. In real life, no one, you are no one's true love, bro. There's no midnight kiss, no nothing like that. There's titties, ass, dick, and whatever goes in relationship and stuff. Another way you can stop getting back with your ex is by killing them. I'm joking, I'm joking, but obviously that's the solution, of course, if you're not scared of prison. You can just get rid of the nigger, man, stab him. Then before you know you've moved on with your life, nigger dead in hell getting bummed by satan and you're happy obviously but that's obviously if you don't want to go prison man you, girls you don't want to kill your ex and then end up in some lesbo prison where you get raped every night no you don't want that no nah. so don't kill anyone to be fair another to stop getting back with your ex is to start living your own life get out of all the habits they are taught you so if your ex taught you that um um or I love going here or if they told you that oh should go there don't go the places where you went with your ex because that's gonna bring back memories and you're gonna remember oh that's the bush we fucked the first time that's where he fingered me that's where she licked my ass and stuff like that so that's gonna go in your brain and you're gonna think wow I miss my ex she used to lick my ass and then before you know you're back with your ex who used to lick your ass and then before you know it she's licked your ass too much you're like fuck this I'm leaving this bitch I'm leaving this slag she's not even worthy and then you realize the worst part is when you get back with your ex but that's not even the worst part the worstiest part is when you, you go back with them you're all happy and then you start to remember they start doing that thing they used to do that you forgot about when you got back with them that was the reason why you broke up in the first place and that's when you're like shit i fucked up so please avoid going the same places where you used to go with your ex avoid trying to delete their number it's never gonna work of course don't text them anyone that texts is their ex wants to god knows you just want to be miserable for the rest of your life find someone to shag all the time it's nothing you know what I mean? Just make sure you don't get chlamydia in the process. That always works. I mean, a lot of people have turned slags because of their previous relationships. And also a lot of girls use that as a as an excuse to be a slag, but really they were just born slags and it's been in their DNA, of course. So you just have to watch out. In other words, stop going back with your ex. It's become a heartless bitch or a heartless nigger. So stop giving everyone your heart. Stop seeing a girl and like, oh, I love her. And then before you know it, you fall in love. You ever fall in love with someone deep down, you know that? 
I'm doing it, I'm making a big mistake, but you do it anyway. And then nine months after, you caught him in a gangbang and you start regretting, ever letting yourself fall in love. You can stop, you, you know, don't fall in love, okay? I mean, fall in love with the right person when you grow up and you're married with 10 kids and you're on your deathbed. Because if you're on your deathbed, how can love ruin you? Because that's what it does, it just ruins lives. But yeah, those are some of the things you have to do to stop you from going back with your ex. There's a lot more, obviously. Every time you think about your ex, tell yourself that, fuck him, fuck her, fuck that slag, fuck that slag. Start to think of something that they had that was negative about him, that you'd hated so much, and always put it in your mind every time you think of them, say, she used to have stinky breath anyway. Her titties looked funny. One of them was dark, one of them was light. Always think those thoughts in your head against your ex. Ah, uh, if you're a girl, you can think, ah, oh, he had a small dick anyway. I used to need a microscope to see that shit. Um, he wasn't even black. He wasn't a black guy. Oh, he wasn't even white. I only like white guys, okay? So whatever stops you from getting back with them, basically. Um, he had an Android phone, okay? I don't even like guys with Android phones, because they have shit. They send you dick pics and the quality is shit, okay? So think anything in your head that can stop you from getting back with your ex. And hopefully you'll never get back with them. But obviously if all the things I've told you don't work for you, then I'm sorry, you're going to have to jump off a cliff. If you're still getting back with your ex after everything I've said, you're going to have to go somewhere like in the mountains and just jump off that cliff. That's the only reason. But obviously, I hope I've been helpful. I'll see you next time. Peace.